Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and I'm coming to you in this episode with a very uh, special message and uh, a great release of Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's that great until we start investigating it. I'm sure I'm going to start getting a lot of emails already from you folks saying, Jack, should I upgrade? Um, Here's the general rule: If you have not, if you're not on Win, on uh, Elements Seven right now, and as we go through the tutorials for Eight, if you're not on the uh, Adobe Elements Seven, and say you're on, I, I had one email the other day from a gentleman on uh, Adobe Elements Three, Four, Five, and Six. Now is the time to upgrade. Now is the time where you should be worrying about buying a new version. Now. Here's the trick. If you buy now, if you look here, they're giving you a $20 melon rebate. And the rebates generally are if you own a prior version. So if you already own a version, then you will get a, a rebate back and it will make it $79. Now, what I wanted to tell you though is you can download a free trial version. That right now, folks, is what we're going to be working on. So I can kind of give you a uh, heads up and we can start taking a look at using the new elements uh, I went through some of the video tutorials already that they have online just uh, some of the new features and you know it's not action-packed but I think there's enough in there we can start investigating and saying hey what can we do with this new elements 8 um, not by any means that you're limited with 7 and 6 I mean I'm sure you're doing a lot of great work out there and I get a lot of emails from everybody knowing that you're doing a lot of great work out there now Here's the big news for the Mac fans out there. Now remember Mac fans, we didn't even have uh, Element 7 on the Mac. But hey, check this out. Looking for Mac version. It used to be when you clicked that it would take you to Element 6. But look what they did folks. They came out with Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 for the Mac. Now here's something I never quite understood with Adobe. And if you know why, by all means email me let me know. Um, give me some clarification on this but you can pre-order it right now so you can get a pre-order in there when it's finally released they're going to sell it to you um, you're going to save a little bit of money on the pre-ordering but there's no trial version it says notify me I never could understand why Adobe just seems to refuse to give trial versions for the Mac users it just doesn't seem fair to me it seems that we should be able to ask Adobe and they should be able to create some kind of trial version a lot of people do trials and demo versions of their software for the Mac. Why can't Adobe? Adobe's a very large company. So, uh, Adobe, if you're hearing any of my videos, please uh, explain to me why. Or let's let's get some kind of download here, you know, where we can try it out and uh, see what there is to see in the new version to get people to keep coming back to your software. But what we're talking about today uh, for the Windows people out there, and there's a lot of you, you can download the new uh, free trial. Now when you click on this, it's going to talk to you a little bit about um, an account. Now I create, I have an account uh, with Adobe. It doesn't cost you anything. They just want to know who you are. Who's the person out there downloading their software? So if not, go over here to create an Adobe account and create an account. Keep this information handy folks because as new versions come out, you don't have to keep re-registering. You can just log in it takes you right to the download site and you download the software now this is a bit of a hefty download it's about 1.3 I think or 1.6 gigabytes so it is a hefty download it's going to take you a while um, I run a uh, DSL circuit here at 3 megabytes and if you have cable you'll probably get a lot quicker but I got it relatively quick even on 3 meg I downloaded it probably probably in about uh, four maybe five hours I had the, had the software downloaded I was able to install it and start looking at it so it was uh, pretty exciting to be able to do that now once you get that downloaded what we have to talk about in this episode is the catalog I would recommend when you install this software install it and tell it not to remove element 7 or your old version what it's going to do under that Adobe folder in program files and you know since I'm talking here I'm gonna bring it up and I can show you what it's gonna do if you go to your program files go under Adobe and then you're gonna see in here you're gonna see elements 8 here's my Photoshop Elements 7 install and alongside that here is my new Photoshop Elements 8 install 
and they also have a folder in here now for uh, Elements Organizer 8 so it's kind of a whole separate folder they did now instead of blending everything into one package so that's what's going to happen if you tell it not to uninstall your old version just install the new one on your hard drive and you'll have 7 which is your registered copy to go back into with that said let's get out of here now with that said what you have to know is where is your current catalog where's the current database for your Adobe Photoshop elements uh, 6 or 7 to find that go under file on your organizer and go to catalog alright we're in catalog look right here where, where I have mine says a custom location and I keep mine on my D drive which is a separate partition on my computer the reason I do that is if you have to reload Windows for some reason you don't have to worry about backing up the catalog and everything because it's on a separate partition what could be better than that is to maybe have two hard drives in your computer if you're uh, so inclined to do so and you have the skills to put another hard drive in your computer keep your elements catalog on a whole separate hard drive but this folks is just an extra partition I created a folder in there called elements catalog now yours may yours may in fact be uh, let me see if I can find it here yours may in fact be under program files Adobe it may be in here um, and there may be a catalog folder in here somewhere so you will have to look at that to know exactly where that catalog is laying at and if you click on the browse button it should actually take you out to where it is see how mine came right there so that will actually point you to where that uh, elements is so it's going to tell you where it's at now once you know where that catalog is what we have to do is now the reason we're doing this is because uh, Photoshop is known with their elements additions anyway that I know of to always do something to the organizer so they want to update that database to their current structure now if you update your seven database or your six database to eight what's going to happen is it's no longer going to work in the prior version you're going to have a you're going to have a nightmare because you can't roll it back once you roll it up now what we're going to have to do here is take that catalog Okay, now catalog, if not to get too in depth with you or too uh, wrapped around terminology, but the catalog is in fact a database. Now, you may uh, may or may not know what a database is, but basically what I'm telling you is in here, under my catalog one, is everything, all these dat files that's making all this catalog work. When you put a tag on, it gets written to the database. When you when you put it into an album, that information gets written into a database. So that way, Elements looks at that database, refers to it all the time, and knows where your pictures are located. Your pictures are not in here. Your pictures are wherever you store them at. Mine is normally under, you know, my documents, my pictures. Yours on Vista might just be called pictures because they got rid of the my. Um, so you get the idea. But this is just a back-end database, and you can see right here where it says PSE7DB. That's the actual database itself, and then these are the assisting files for that database. What you want to do is you're going to right-click on this, and we're going to copy it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to make another one here, a new folder, and I'm going to call this... Elements 8 catalog. Then I'm going to double click this and open it up. Right click and I'm going to paste. So I'm making a copy of my catalog from 7 that I'm using right now. And this is the database I'm going to convert. And we're going to attempt to use this database in the new Photoshop Elements 8 so make sure you get that done first so I would even do that uh, prior to launching elements 8 because as soon as you launch it, it's going to ask you do you want to convert that database if you hit yes you're done so don't do that um, this is the first video of using Photoshop elements 8 and this is the trial version so I'm going to walk you through to try to get you set up so you start playing with it 
but still have your old dependable one, your registered copy on your computer. All right, so we got that done. Now, once you get that copied, I'm going to now start working on my next video of actually opening Adobe Photoshop Elements 8, and I'm going to walk you through how to open that particular backup catalog we just created and let it convert that catalog, and then we'll leave the other catalog intact. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. So first of all, like I said, go to adobe.com, download that trial version, get that on your computer, and uh, install it. Once you get installed, then you're going to uh, simply back up your catalogs, get that all done, and then watch the next video. So until then, I'll see you back here very, very, very soon. I can't really tell you, as always, to keep those uh, shutters clicking and keep the editor editing. But we'll get to that point very soon. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative. And uh, get ready to launch uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 so we can start exploring a new version. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.